خلاص خلاص Good morning. I'm glad to start morning session and announce the next speaker, uh, Ji Wu, uh, with the talk Complex Network and GLM Theory. Okay, so thank you very much. I would like to thank the organizers to uh, ask me to come here. It's really my uh, pleasure to come to VIX's uh, conference. I think I when came uh, Victor's uh, 70s conference, 75, so now 80. I will continue next. Okay, so the topic today I bring you here is the uh, talk about uh, something certainly connected to combinatorics, right? So so-called the complex networks. Now, the I will explain what is the GLMY theory here. Now, uh, before we start, actually, I bring you a bit of interesting news to everybody in topology, maybe happy. And uh, we actually, so I will explain what is the GLMY theory. And uh, one game we what we try to do is to use this theory to do a uh, practical application. So this is just a press conference for an article uh, uh, just appeared and now at the, uh, what's it, the penis here. And this is the mathematical method exactly called the geo and Y homology. So as in some sense, we're happy to see that there are some successful applications of topological approaches in medicine. Okay. Uh, okay, so now I will start to look at the this, uh, what I call, the, well, not what I call, actually, now people group people call, this is now called uh, GOMY, it's definitely related to Yao, right? Okay, so the picture, the first speaker in this morning's, uh, early morning, 5 a.m. here, okay, 10 a.m. Uh, in China, and the Yao is, uh, is the first to uh, give a speech uh, about this article. Okay, so now, uh, now the question of this same thing I want to do, look at the I think before for we look at the mathematics or we, whatever we want to look at the applications, I think it is important that we want to look at what the motivation comes from, right? So I think the uh, first part I really want to look at the what's the motivation from the current sciences. Okay, the the one what I call this is so called the um, somehow. Cannot move up. Okay. Well, this is so called a higher order interaction network. So uh, the the game will be like that. So traditionally, of course, uh, people like, uh, use a lot of like uh, use uh, this uh, graph theory graphs to modelize the the questions, right? Uh, practical questions, and uh, I think. Uh, like uh, when the, the AI technology is moving further and further, and now the something come out is so-called nonlinear or high order interactions. And this appears in uh, nowadays in many complex network or complex systems, right? Say in a uh, social network and uh, like uh, in the, you definitely need to look at the interactions you you got the group interactions, right? And it happened, say, in biology, right? So, and well, a lot of things. If you consider the complex system, definitely they do have, like, not always, like, pairwise. And uh, the picture I display here, this is actually uh, uh, the Fox, uh, Fox topic of the communications physics. And uh, the paragraph I showed here is actually the Preface. Okay, so uh, the uh, it, this is a study. They started to collect uh, uh, articles since uh, 2021 or 20, I think it is. But they really started from 21. Okay, so that's like a match. So they, all these things are happening in last uh, since the last uh, two or three years, including like uh, this uh, Nobel Prize given to in physics given to complex system. Okay. Okay, so now uh, the 
But what I explain will be a slight different views from what the professor like uh, described in in the communication physics, right? Uh, you of course you can use modeling like uh, instead of look at pairwise you can look at the simplicial complex you can use hypergraph right uh, my view will be a slightly different for practical people mostly they may just give you a graph because that's the easy way you get uh, you start with uh, uh, correlations they make matrix they immediately produce say graphs digraphs. Now, and uh, for practical people, they may not be familiar uh, with uh, what's going on for simplicial complex or, or this topology, right? Uh, of course, they are, it's good that there are some people studying that way. Now there's one question coming to topologies, right? So we uh, we don't assume like uh, they are able to provide us in sufficient information, like uh, already described high order interactions. Yeah. But the question would be like, uh, give, give us uh, 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 graphs, right? So how can we try to study higher order structures out of that, right? Okay. So this can be moved to, to our situation, okay? Uh, now, uh, so let me move a bit. Okay, so these are uh, articles I just uh, they collected. So I just show you a few. I think there are, there are more than 19 articles on, on this topic. And now, there also, you can see that there are some recent uh, uh, review articles. This is in Nature Reviews and uh, uh, Physics Report. And there's a long paper, right? This is uh, 92 pages. So they try to uh, discuss those like uh, uh, what uh, interaction or like beyond what the Nature Review called beyond pairwise mechanics, right? So the, this. Uh, the recent uh, motivation from the uh, science. And uh, then we have uh, some communications with the people, the uh, expert in the uh, complex uh, network. So then to manage, I get understanding that high order interaction actually is the most challenging in complex network science. Okay, so the, the, uh, uh, the, the, the point here, Right, uh, there's one point is that compared well, if you look at the uh, uh, pairwise uh, interactions, you can use graphs. Then there's a huge of a uh, of tools, mathematical tools from graph theory. You can give a lot of uh, uh, quantitative information. What, what do they want to apply? Right now, the question they will try to describe what's going on for high order structure. Then it turns out that the, the main point here is that there are only limited mathematical tools for them to do. And you can see that there's a lot of articles in there, say even like including science or articles, when they try to say something about high order structure, possibly they only give some philosophical descriptions. That because they are lacking of mathematics. Tools. So that's our motivation. Actually, we try to develop uh, all possible mathematical theory out of that, aiming to say some uh, whatever structures beyond uh, graph theory. So make uh, that, that, I think, the uh, our motivation we try. And uh, that will be Lambda. I just put it there. So actually, people from practical side, they, are, they have a high expectation on algebraic topology, right? So they will uh, hope this, I, I quote like uh, Long Ling Wu is actually, it's, um, it's uh, well, he was an expert in, in, in this uh, biology, uh, computational biology and the microbiome statistician. He's a statistician and uh, just returned to my colleagues. So he just returned back to China and uh, two, two years ago and from Penn State. And uh, well, the, 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 uh, okay, so all these guys, are, are, are like Carlo Canes, uh, Chase uh, is, a, uh, is a recently hired by Tsinghua, so it's a, it's a top uh, scientist in the area. And uh, when I look at that, I put the words, somehow they use some interesting words, right? This is like a revolution or a revolution mass. Uh, so for mathematicians, maybe we're not uh, trying to use, but uh, it, let me say really happy for for the for the 
potential applications of algebra topology to study like this uh, uh, complex network or complex systems like this way. Okay. So, okay. So now, uh, now uh, as I mentioned here, so the, this is the today's main uh, part I want to explain. So I'm not say try to we try to make uh, models. Uh, using like a uh, simple complex or hypergraph or anything. Actually, we did that work. But now the question will be, let's, let's try to do in mathematics. We can try to simplify the object first. So we don't make object to be too complicated. Now the object, you can just look at what's going on. So give us, uh, say, a simple graph, right? Make it more interesting, we can say, look at the digraph because uh, for some reasons, for practical uh, reasons, they will see always some arrows, like one hits another in a positive way, or they even have say, okay, another direction, maybe one negative way or something. So, but then for mathematics, let's just take something. So our working object now, say it's a simple graph or digraph, right? Uh, of course, there are, uh, actually, if you remember, there, there are a lot of uh, uh, methods to uh, construct, say, uh, simplicial complex out of that, out of, uh, say, graph, right? Say, for instance, you can get a click complex uh, out of a simple graph. That's a simple graph construction. Now, you can get, like, a neighborhood complex. It's a, it's a study the even home to be theory in uh, there in topological combinatorics, and you can uh, look at the home complex and whatever. So, so it's actually there already a lot of uh, uh, a lot of tools. Certainly, uh, in in mathematics, uh, people do study the higher order structures on the graph. Right now, what I'm mentioning here because uh, uh, the you is it's the the, the the what the director of our institute, right? I'm happy for working here. So he has a recent work introduced so called the in the beginning so called uh, path homology in his in his article. And uh, well, if you read the words, you already can recognize for a graph you look at the passes. Okay, then you create some so called path complex and produce a homology theory. And the motivation is uh, of uh, their work is actually coming from uh, physicists' work. So physicists try to uh, look at the discrete uh, differential calculus, many approaches to do that. One of the uh, one of the approaches is coming in 1990s. Uh, they will produce, create the so-called past cohomology. Okay, uh, but uh, as usual. Uh, 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 like uh, physicists, they can create uh, a, a lot of uh, smart ideas, but uh, uh, mathematically, they 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 will be uh, not like give a theory. Sometimes they display some examples and and uh, describe like uh, interesting and important uh, physical meanings out of that, right? So it comes to be it turns out uh, like Yao and uh, and the. Uh, his courses, they come to be interested in this topic and they, they load a paper, uh, it's around like 80, 88 pages and just put it in the archive. And, and uh, it turns out it's difficult to publish it and then they just stay there <laughs> forever. And then, then the, this is happened in 2012. And then the, nowadays there's a, a lot of a, a series of uh, works coming out and a group of people uh, follow up to do, to work on that, right? So now the then uh, then I, according to your suggestion, and then we uh, make uh, this uh, the original version of a past homology called the uh, GLMY homology. That's just come from the first letters of each uh, each uh, author, right? So there's four authors. They make the uh, make this title, and uh, I. Well, uh, display to you. This is like my official announcement to uh, to the about the renaming and uh, like on the uh, so called past homology. So I think this is the uh, timing uh, on that I sent to well, after some discussions with the uh, authors. Uh, 
uh, well, uh, of the of this uh, uh, the, in the on the paper, and uh, yeah, like instructed by y'all, and then I send the announcement to on the renaming on, on the past homology. So that's how we call the geo and y homology. I think y'all's expansion is that you put a name, a label on the original homology, then. Uh, then uh, you can make variations and develop a new ser new series. So, so that's a uh, hope like you can uh, develop uh, some other uh, the generalizations and uh, so you make something different, right? And that uh, that story came back to that uh, there's two people actually they y'all received the article from the Sergey Ivanov and uh, Fedor Penvadinsky and they load the uh, Article called past pairs of the homology past pair. So let's generalize the 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 original work of the past homology. Then I discuss with the uh, Greek Yam and that. Uh, well, the, the point is slightly different because uh, uh, for past homology view, they are aiming more combinatorics of the digraphs. So the 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 aiming to build up a serial there, and uh, they say the approaches from the uh, Sergei Ivanov will be, and Fedor uh, 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 is will be like uh, more homological algebra approach, right? You can always do different. I think that's the, the previous story on that, and then y'all make suggestions. We should uh, make some make some name original, then people try to study. Even I mean, now, people can try to study through categorical view or others, so you can always uh, look at this object. Okay, so now. Okay, so now I uh, I I just uh, back to explain few words what that means. I think I mean, uh, if you read the words of past homology, actually more or less you you can guess how uh, it uh, it moves. Uh, well, the, for producing past homology, you can. This is a kind of like a, a, a an or generalization of the inner of complex of categories. So for, for the digraphs, of course, you can look at the passives out of that, right? Uh, now, the difference is that now you only give a digraph, so there's no composition operation you can use, right? For category, you have to do that. So these are just arrows. You can create this uh, so-called complex, like a past complex, just in terms of, say, 1A to B to C, you get the three nodes. You can imagine this will be something like a two simplex, right? And uh, now the uh, it's a uh, but the 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 will be something if you do that you you will see some uh, some uh, some point here. What you construct is so called past complex is not a simplicial complex. So you you have arrows like from A to B to C, right? If you remove the remove uh, one of the node, okay, remove one of the nodes, you have an arrow from A to B. So let's you collect it. You have arrow from B to C, collect it, uh, but then possibly you have no arrow from A to C. So in other words, there's some phase missing, right? So the construction of this one is not really like you construct the uh, uh, simplicial complex out of that. Actually, you, you uh, the, this will be, uh, uh, well, it's a, well, I'll say it's a bit beyond the traditional usual method is to construct the simplicial complex, right? Now you get only hypergraph. Okay. And now the, the question then, so how can we produce the homology for hypergraph? So we try to generalize the simplicial, uh, simplicial homology theory. So at least you get, the, in terms of how it works. So roughly speaking, uh, is that if you get a hypergraph or you, you just pass a couple of that, uh, you follow the procedure to the simplicial complex uh, way. You just uh, take a uh, single about simplex, you take a linear combination. So you look at the, for each level, right? Now the point is that the boundary operator may not be well-defined because there are some phases are missing. However, uh, you can think about the closed up or the missing one, then you get a simplicial complex, right? And then you do have uh, some graded subgroups inside the chain complex. Then what, what do you, we can use the, 
uh, these games from the calculus, right? We call it superhuman infilament. In other words, you're moving down your subchain complex containing these graded objects, take the smallest one, right? So, so that you can get the superhuman of a residual chain complex. But itself may not be, but you get one. Then on the bottom, you get to put all zeros will be a definite chain complex. Then you move up to the infilament. So that means the largest uh, subchain complex contained in this uh, graded subgroup. And there will be an interesting point is that this infilament and the issue is actually homology. Uh, the inclusion map induces isomorphism homology. So what I say will be there is something you break down, you cannot define the chain map, but you can say it's like a reverse, the yeah, upper one and the lower one, and they are exactly the the uh, equivalent up to chain complex. So it is a natural, really natural notion of the the homology introduced. Uh, well, this is uh, explained actually using the uh, hypergraph language, but the original paper we one can see is it's uh, in original definition they uh, do a slight different, but they do produce the same exactly in the homology what I explained. Okay, so let's I try explain a little bit here. Okay, now the uh, now I think I try to say a bit uh, because there's a lot of following up work on this. So there's one you can ask uh, how these uh, homologies. Uh, in the like uh, in terms of uh, applications, right? Now, one thing is about these uh, stabilities. So, if you do a little bit of perturbation on the system, and whether this homology theory can be sharply changed or not, it turns out it is uh, it is uh, very good. So, this is a robustness on that. So, you do a little bit of perturbation, and it's okay, it stays. So then uh, that means that this tool is something good. Also, the uh, algorithm already developed. Now it's a uh, well, uh, well, reasonable complexity. I mean, uh, you can still com compute in some sense. Of course, uh, uh, for this uh, computing homology always costs the time, but uh, it is OK. The layer runs uh, reasonably good. OK. And uh, then there, there will be some nights play some uh, you know, in uh, these articles and the last, since the last few years, right? Uh, so the uh, you you have passed homology. Well, uh, the, uh, now I we call like a, a geo and y homology. Well, originally just past homology. Uh, you, definitely, you can make a fluctuation. Then you get a persistent, right? And uh, this uh, seems to like get a good uh, good applications already, right? This is like a few years ago, a little more. We, I only display a few, few articles that. And for our group, we also, we actually, we did this application as well. Uh, that one, this is already published. This is published earlier, right? Uh, January of this, uh, this year. And uh, this was doing for applications for materials and uh, some like, uh, uh, and in biology as well. Uh, so that's the I display some information over there. So, uh, okay. So now the this article is exactly just uh, the some uh, for this uh, press conference this very morning. Okay. So now we get the uh, uh, there's uh, more uh, progress on on the applications of this uh, geo and y homology. Uh, okay. Actually, we still have some. Uh, some papers is uh, already finished. They just uh, under submission, or I forgot whether they already submitted, or it's just uh, at least maybe under review, or is a pre preprint. Uh, well, yeah. So I just display a uh, few of this application, right? There's more, and uh, okay. So now I move a little bit. Okay, different. So okay. So along this idea, certainly, uh, and. Uh, Turns out that we can make uh, something, you know, even generalize that, right? You can look at the, the question will be about uh, like a given hypergraph. Can we try to produce simplicial homology? This question actually, this is my work. Uh, uh, well, actually, is coming from my students' PhD thesis. Okay, I give uh, uh, the topic to him, and uh, the first guy is uh, uh, is a computer scientist uh, uh, at the. National University of Singapore. So he asked, proposed this question to 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 me, 
So he say he went to many conferences in computer science. They all the, the all these guys uh, they talk about like uh, you know uh, topology, homology theory. He ask, okay, now they want to look at this. Just give a hypergraph, can you generalize to that, right? You have to, and, and then, oh, then it reminds me that, oh, your idea may work, right? It's like, if I uh, do that, okay, so it, it exactly works on that. So that's our motivation for this article. And uh, that we, we call this is called embedded homology of hypergraph. Okay, and uh, then there are some uh, remarks as that. Uh, if you study, try to study hypergraphs, Hypergraph to our understanding will be, okay, definition will be like that. Simplicial complex, abstract simplicial complex is a collection of, uh, is a collection of finite set, right? So that, uh, which is a closed under uh, sub, uh, subset operation. So you collect the ABC, then you must collect all its uh, faces, right? Now the hypergraph by definition, just a collection of a uh, finite set without any constraint condition. Right. So to from topological view, we can say, oh, that's just a hypergraph, just means uh, you got some pure complex with some faces missing, right? So so, so some face may be not inside here. So uh, in that case, then then why we say that oh you can geometrically you can say close up, you get the simplicial complex. That of course people in applied will argue, okay, well, what what you bring back anything that's not original one. So the wave to go to the embedded homology, okay. So now let's don't close too fast. Let's go to in the chain level, right? So you get the so the, you move everything move to chains and then you get the uh, small is this uh, uh, subchain complex of simplicial chain complex touching this border, right? Okay, and then you you flow zero the point as I said the infinite soup. So this is this games exactly they may open, so they may not coincide, but they are homologically uh, uh, they are they are home to be equivalent. So they have the same homology. So that's the win. And next thing you try to. Uh, study the, the 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 gaps, right? What I call it, these gaps or these river sons, and maybe use some more combinatorics to do that. And uh, well, there are some interesting things that if you uh, if you take a look at the Laplacian so on, on this the, the gap complex, if you take up and the lower <laughs> Laplacian, it will give some information, right? So uh, I, I still think this will be interesting things to study like uh, hypergraphs in, in such a way. Okay. Now there, there also another way to 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 produce is to look at like this. Uh, 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 there, there's a, a, another one. It's called the like, you you actually introduce. It's interesting. Instead of a past homology, you also introduce like a call data homology. Uh, data homology, roughly speaking, you can just say, say for example, you take a simplicial complex, and uh, let's assume each vertex has you have some weight. From some commutative ring, just put some work here, and then then you just modify your your boundary operator to be weighted alternating sum, right? Our usual boundary operator, you just take an alternating sum of faces. Now just weighted one. And it turns out that it works. Well, as a chain complex, so then they call this is a, like a dead homology, and then. Uh, uh, well, we actually Meng Meng is is sitting over there, so he's my. Uh, she's my uh, PhD student, and uh, well, uh, before that, I think uh, uh, Vladimir Virginia has been we tried to generalize that one, what we call twisting. So instead of weights, let's make something like uh, the rotations on, 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 on that. And and then uh, uh, now I, I think later on the recent one already appeared. It remember we try to with, let's make a, a weight of say simple complex for each simplex. Let's put some twisting on there. Right. And if you think about this idea, then it turns out that we can unify the like your state homology and then there's classical work, so-called simplicial fiber bundle theory. <laughs> and they exactly they make like uh, these twistings. And uh, and that well, if you uh, I think a simplicial fiber bundle theory, that's a beautiful theory. So it's uh, in, in 90, maybe Victor still remember, right? It's in 1959, I think. Then then comes out the uh, homological version. Version is you look at the chains it will be like a bronze uh, tensor product, and uh, that story also published in 1950, 
1979, and then you move to 1980s, uh, Witten has created this so-called, uh, this uh, twisted uh, uh, cohomology. Now, if you look at the background the ideas, they have a lot of connection to there. Now, now we can say, okay, let's make every faces. We just make a twisting. So let's uh, our, uh, work uh, to, to uh, do that. And uh, from that, actually, we also uh, they can recover the somewhat people call it uh, Braille, more homology, right? Now, invented homology is different from that way. Actually, they are not, not, not the same, okay? So, uh, okay, so now I, now I, maybe I show more, okay. So, of course, as I said, we are looking at the digraph and we look at the higher structures. Uh, on the other hand, we, look, we, we also look at the hypergraph, even like a directed, uh, 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 like uh, directed hypergraphs or hyperdigraph. Okay, so in that case, when uh, we we get get some some applications in, in the, like uh, in materials. Uh, now there there's another work we done is try to even more gen uh, general. So this is a free work. Then if we consider uh, graphs or multigraph or like uh, the the uh, digraph or quivers or these objects, it turns out in, under very weak condition, you can always produce homology theory out of that. Then uh, this is uh, written in, in this article. And uh, now the question in this article, the one thing is there is because it's aiming to potential application. So uh, we try to make uh, as general as possible. Then uh, the question there, which I say, uh, what, what, what I propose would be whether it's possible you can make a learning out of that because uh, there's a lot of topological approaches to, to this one. Then you can say, make system, right? Change it like data, a uh, change of homology theory. Or the, you can try to uh, develop something like a, uh, there's something in AI people like call like a physics informed uh, neural network. They they just make a lot of physics uh, equations, make a library. So if we have can produce a lot of topological approaches, we can make a library, and then try to combine with the uh, learning method to do that. Right? Okay. So that uh, this is like a, a framework we described over there, and now I show some applications. Right? So there I just display a few of my recent work on this. And uh, Xiang Liu is not here, right? And uh, he did, uh, when we got this uh, hypergraph, embedded homology of hypergraphs, uh, he would bring two, two, two applications. It turns out it, it, it uh, get a good result. Uh, so we, we use uh, testing for what? This protein ligand uh, interactions, right? That seems to be the most important step for drug design. So, so then uh, you you got the uh, protein, so there's a lot of atoms, right, and the uh, ligand. So we we look at the interaction. We just use uh, choose our uh, method. to say you use uh, try to construct the hypergraph and uh, and then play this homology theory as the topological feature, and then then do prediction. They compare with the other method, right? It turns out to get to be best result uh, that one out of that. And then like we can try to try to like uh, to do like this uh, hypergraph uh, homology and combine with like uh, this uh, spectrum analysis. So you you do this through like Laplacian, so you can do the uh, spectrum analysis and they combine together. And even like uh, uh, I think they're interesting. Like uh, you uh, this uh, Docker complex, you can apply and test it to see. How good? It turns out it's quite a good uh, uh, method in the protein ligand, uh, like uh, this uh, binding affinity predictions. Okay, so these are a uh, good one. Or and we even like uh, uh, got the uh, application for the home complex, right? That uh, people used, uh, studied a lot in, in mathematics for in topological computations. Now let's bring this to to do like play the games in for practical question and uh, still uh, yeah already published right last year and uh, I think Lan Liu is she was uh, sitting <laughs> behind as a uh, my student as well and uh, she was a uh, change the ideas so called like uh, it's a hopping complex so instead of look at the passes why not not go to try to jump uh, 
a bit. But well, there's a, actually there's a uh, there's an observation. This maybe works well. Uh, you look at the so-called uh, proteins. Proteins, according to my knowledge, okay, my knowledge on proteins is limited. And they have something called backbones, right? And like that's very solid. Then there's a lot of functions in there. So you get a, like a million of atoms. Now, if, if I do this way, so if it, if, if I get a, assume like where well, backbone means something uh, to my understanding will be quite strong, right? They act, acting strongly. Now, and they form a shape, so structure uh, in this uh, three dimensional or the or the well, now they are also 2D structure as well. Now, you say the three dimensional, and there's one important thing for protein is that their geometric structure determine the function, right? So now you 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 forget the other atoms. Just look at the back bones, right? If I have a step A to B, okay, I check distance. B to C, so let's measure distance. If I jump it from A to C, I just measure distance, right? So if uh, A to C uh, distance is exactly equal to A to from A to B, B to C, let me they go straight line, right? If I make it smaller, oh, you have to curve curve back, right? So it depends on how much you will curve. So essentially, if you look at these ideas, if I uh, do that, you will see that uh, you simply look at the distance of this uh, jumping. Like, so that's why you can look at the hopping. And that already more or less give you some information about the some structures on the protein, right? So then, then of course, you can use that other method. Too. And uh, now, uh, well, in, in her article, certainly, she, she just changes, like, let's take uh, passes, that like one hopping, two hopping, three hopping, right? And then make a prediction. So this is uh, this uh, new article published this year and uh, get the best result. Very compatible to, to, <laughs> with other method. Okay. Okay, so that's the uh, so I could, because of timing, so I move to there's more interesting to our mathematicians part, uh, but uh, yeah, okay. Uh, so so I have to uh, now because time is a bit short. So uh, I, I guess for 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 mathematician more excited will be whether we can do mathematics out of that instead of the, you try to do applications of of these things, right? That comes out to be something like about how about how to introduce homotopy theory. So instead of looking at the homology, let's look, try to look at the homotopy theory uh, on that. And if you recall that, actually people already studied the homotopy theory on graphs, diagraphs, so I list many, many references, uh, the approach uh, over there. Okay, so now we the uh, and uh, for uh, for Yosu, one it's like a, what called like a GLMY homotopy theory. That's that's the early one. The, 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 uh, in topological combinatorics, they call A theory. Okay, well this A theory is not, is different from A one homotopy of a uh, Wojcicki one. But just uh, you can define, introduce higher homotopy groups on, on, on the graph, right? And uh, now that turns out that this area. Become to be uh, a lot of uh, questions still need to be explored. Okay, so people essentially you can say introduce the homotopy group, but the only definitions you have not a uh, lot of questions. They really need to e explore. And uh, okay, so now uh, because time is, I should just say short. So in the diagram will be something interesting because your arrows up and down and going like this, right? You can look at the, like uh, what is the interval in the deformation interval. We have a zero to one. That's it, right? You def define home to be. But in diagram, you are say from zero, zero to one, maybe this direction. Uh, one to two, maybe another direction, and so on and so on. And you have to take the uh, lens up to M. <laughs> because they, they they may go many steps, right? So so that, that's exactly you you the use this is exactly how can you produce homotopy? Exactly the way to do. So you get the diagram map, another diagram map, and look at the, all these uh, uh, what they call box <laughs> product, right? Make arrows go up. The, then you make a diagram mapping. So it will define the so called the like uh, uh, yeah, it's a diagram homotopy. Okay. So now once you are homotopy, then of course you can go move further. So you can use these ideas to define homotopy group or to develop or homotopy theory. You can to try to develop exactly, right? 
Okay, so now, uh, and now there will be, say, the, uh, the point, like in this one, you know, this home topic, you can, you, what I said, you just like, uh, you got the domain, say G, okay, target one is the H, you get the two diagram maps. Well, you make G to be cylinder. That means like, like uh, in terms of uh, language, it will be box product with zero one, just make arrows with the simple bottom one, right? And then yeah, you mapping into H, you will see the shape, I mean, the image of G, you will be uniformly moved to, to another. So this is actually like uh, uh, the, uh, the, the, the home to be described. Okay, so now I uh, say, a uh, bit quickly, so this is uh, the work of fundamental group already studied uh, uh, in the uh, in this uh, like uh, yours group people, and uh, this Pankale Lemmerch is true. Okay, okay. So now and uh, also you will see that there's something interesting for that the the this uh, uh, well uh, this uh, even in parallel un undirected there's people have been to study introduce like homotopy group what they call a group right uh, it was conjecturally the, the, uh, related to the cubical complex well I found uh, some interesting this statement that they actually they make a theorem actually uh, this is published right make us a theorem but uh, before that they are by assuming some properties which uh, are not proven yet, right? So this is uh, certainly still uh, uh, they will they try to uh, well, it's it's better to call this is still conjecture, right? Conjecturing homotopy group in their lang language here. Now the the work in the in the Yaw's work will be like uh, they introduce the homotopy group recursively, so you can you introduce past diagraph, loop diagraph, like uh, something like in the space situation, then, then recursively they can def introduce the uh, home, higher home to the group. And uh, now the, uh, well, uh, now the reason the progress from moments work is that we try to give some description. So it's the usual, as a, like a description of a usual homotopy group. So in this case, you have to like, uh, you have to take the cubicle cubical object, they cut cakes by, by small pieces and put all directions, they just study all this mapping into there. And then you have to look at homotopy, more similar situation to the simplicity game. You have to look at the subdivisions. So somehow it's not, uh, it's not straightforward because domain you have to change it. So you have to say the, 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 the uh, this cube could be size, could be, Many pieces, right? So eventually, then uh, she uh, finished the, uh, the homotopy group handled in this way, which, in terms of scientific interpretation, will be that the homotopy group can detect the uh, grip structures on, on, on the on the networks, right? So that's a uh, uh, and now the. And now the the way I uh, then I will say that this will be something why why it is important when we do uh, applications we use uh, this uh, say whatever homology you want to do right and uh, the good thing for math is that we can give some uh, what uh, uh, scientific explanations why this method are using right now you as usual algebra uh, topology will be nice that. We can use homotopy group as a descriptor. Usually difficult to compute, but we can describe what's going on. Like a, 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 in geometric way, will be homotopy group like n-dimensional holes in, in the space, right? And uh, it was a similar situation happened here. Then, then computation we use homology to compute. So if you get a uh, beta numbers, that uh, will be easy to use computer to to finish it. So this is how, why algebra topology is good because we can uh, play this game, okay, uh, like a, a two balls, right? One's a homotopy and another homology. So this is, uh, this picture is coming from this uh, uh, PINAS uh, article. So we can use like this homology, this is a description of that, but the, the, the art we have to use is to use a homotopy group to describe, actually homotopy describe the structures, structure inside the networks, okay? Now, the another thing I want to mention here is that actually, moments, uh, in, in this work, uh, uh, the, the article is still is finalized; it's almost finished. So I'm happy to see that. And uh, uh, in terms of this uh, 
uh, when you introduce higher homotopy groups on the uh, diagram, right? So then you may have a lot of questions. So one question will be how this algebraic topology works in, in, in this new object. Well, first again, we can ask well, what's going on for a proper sequence. In other words, you get any diagram map, you you should have a homotopy fiber, you have to look long exact sequence or homotopy groups, right? So this is actually the, I think it should carry it out of the, this one. And the flow that, you, of course, you can ask everything in, in, in homotopy theory. So I think you should move further after finish this article or move further. When, when we talk about the top sequence, actually, we try to study the vibrations on diagrams, right? And then uh, if you look at the further, then look at the fiber bundle structures and uh, uh, on the what's going on for fiber bundles on diagrams. And that question is proposed by, by y'all. So, and uh, really we want to see what's the geometry there, right? So the geometry and topology on, on, on this side. And uh, well, we certainly we can make a twisted one, as I mentioned, actually we, we tested this is only for uh, unifying the like many approaches to in the combinatorial way, like for simply set, we can make a twisted uh, homology, actually also like a twisted structures over there. Now you can game how to produce for twisted uh, uh, structures on diagrams, right? Uh, so twisted uh, like a geo right, homology would be an interesting. I think that she will move further to work on. Okay, so now I, let me uh, let me see a bit. So so far now we can see that geo and y homology can detect the n grip structure there, right? This is through the description of the uh, homotopy group, and the uh, homotopy group looks like it is connected to dynamics because we actually we look at the shapes uniformly change from one to another, right? So you get the, there's something interesting and. Uh, well, uh, let, let me uh, uh, summarize a bit. Uh, so uh, this is uh, when I call this geo and while theory, that means under developing theory. Okay, so anything maybe is still uh, still in this early stage to do that. But uh, already get the impression that this uh, uh, at least uh, this can play as one of the approaches to study the complex network, right? So we can detect the structures and the. Uh, uh, and the dynamics, right? Dynamics will be uh, just you look at the homotopy, so we can see how how the the subgraphs the shape is moving. You look at uh, is that on that, and then uh, if you want to look the further, you want to look at the control how to control the complex network. And I I think as usual, uh, topology will first the layer to move in, and the next you should move in the geometry. So, so the geometry maybe definition is not the usual geometry. You well, just you you have some structure is controlled. So now you have to look at under the system, right? So in that case, when people say talk about the control, well, let's move to next step, right? And you have to make this function to work, say bring, right? So model I'll bring and you want to make function bring, well, we can, we can put in the analysis, right? So I think this for mathematicians, it seems uh, it's okay. So we get a structure and we get dynamic, if we can understand dynamics and the control and we know how to functions, that will be, uh, uh, I think it will be, a, hopefully will provide uh, good tools in like uh, for complex uh, network, right? Of course, there's a, a lot of different approaches, as I said, so far for higher order interaction uh, network, the mathematics tools are limited, right? So once uh, people try to study through all different views, you we will provide a lot of uh, new theories, uh, math theories aiming to these uh, structures. And uh, here I mentioned a, a bit is that uh, it's good to look at the, 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 this high structure on diagrams because we, we try to make the uh, object to be simplest first, right? We, we, then we try to generalize. So uh, yeah, and then, and of course, another way where now actually we also study so-called uh, hyper network theory. So because timing, I don't want to explain further. They, they want to uh, even like hypergraph, they think, uh, uh, Lonely is actually my uh, co-author, co right? Also my uh, my colleague there, and uh, 
so he will talk about say hypergraph not in the what he call propose like a hyper network theory. Okay, so so that will be a, like a, you have interactions between different dimension of the hyper ages as well. So let me see that. And uh, this theory was still under working and I uh, hope we will produce uh, uh, more uh, like a result of that and ask him to get some applications <laughs> just like this uh, current papers, right? Ask when we, we, we do know how, how to how to to introduce like a, a generalized geo uh, homology and introduce this modelize, give some mathematical models on that. Uh, okay. Now the uh, okay. So in uh, yeah. Now I, I I say a bit before uh, before I close, finish. I say a bit. They, they actually there are some interesting things uh, when we look at the think about the entire complex uh, network and our complex systems. So we try to see that if we really aim to the like uh, fundamental things on this uh, complex network science. We we want to understand what the physics here. So so I, I, I here some maybe some general question. Uh, I guess the uh, what well, many of you maybe Victor also know has out what's the physics here. So, so the, this question I will try to say what's the physics and uh, now it's not like in the usual continuous world. Let's look at the discrete world. Right, give you a complex system. So what's the physics here? And uh, now what is string theory? I mean, on diagrams. So let's let's do it this way. And now how it is connected to Topology. Well, it's actually for diagraph. You can look at the loops on diagram. This is called loop diagram. Make, make it. And what you and why homology? Just apply hom like this past homology over there. It is half algebra. <laughs> That's a usual space. So a lot of uh, a, 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 a lot of algebra topology can move in this direction. It is a nice structure. You may you may look at the say uh, of course for loop space works uh, loop diagram you have a uh, free loop diagram right all the all these uh, these things can moving into this direction so so if uh, we need to understand if we know some physics now if uh, for this uh, quantum physics maybe also important here now as I, if I, if I, if, I, if I in getting pressure like uh, for simple complex i mean the uh, polyhedrons that's that's like uh, uh, can dis uh, describe as the uh, the space of uh, probability distributions, right? And then and then you you may look at what's going on like uh, the the space of quantum states. Uh, Why well, there's some I think a type rule there, right? So I what I try to say the the space of not quantum space quantum states, right? So if you you look at all, uh, all quantum states and whether there's a good uh, way. Well, at least if you look at the simple structure, we can say that's a space of a uh, of a uh, probability uh, distribution. So you will kind of move the, in terms of that direction. And then, uh, of course, I, uh, another way because we observe the lateral homotopy diagram actually looks like amazing. In a sense, you just wake one direction shifted, so it, it does. It, it should have some dynamics, right? And so you you, you whether well, you can get some scientific. Uh, interpretations like dynamical or involutionary of systems of that. Okay, so now time. I I think I should stop. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. So thank you very much. Yeah. Okay. Any questions? Thank you very much for your talk. It's very interesting. And I have two questions. Mm -hmm. uh, first question, uh, did you know the approach? What mm -hmm. approach? Yeah. The, his, you know, his main idea uh, go from topological space yeah. to the space of pass ah. of the space and uh, obtain new language, new interpretation as classical result and other. So first my question is, are there some inter interrelation, connection with these uh, topics which we show today? Is Mm, yeah, I have not uh, think about looking at that yet. That's a good, good question. I think we can try to... It'll be interesting to yeah, compare. Yeah, interesting to, to uh, second question. Mm -hmm. If you look in the encyclopedia on mathematical physics, mm -hmm. 
uh, you can find the definition of Володя Кринфельд. Mm -hmm. Very short. Oh. What does mean quantum groups? And Greenfield answer, it is nothing else as hope of algebra. Oh, okay. So if what, when I can see what in, in your oh, contents, got arise, a lot of hope uh, algebra. Yeah. hope yeah. algebra, <laughs> immediately arise question, uh, yeah. what kind of hope algebra? Because what is... Uh, Yes. Greenfield mentioned that for him, Hopf algebra it is nothing quantum groups. But uh, if you start from quantum groups, certainly very interesting to consider quantum space and so so. It is a more second question. Mm -hmm. Consider what, uh, what you, what topics which arise here mm -hmm. from point of view of uh, Greenfield. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a uh, okay. Well, it's a, it's a good question. I, uh, we have not answered. Uh, we, we have not got answer yet. We, we do have a whole algebra. So, so that means that uh, it will be interesting to study the, the this. Uh, actually, just you simply look at the loop diagrams, like object. They have a multiplications. So the uh, for the uh, okay. So the couple product uh, works for GL and Y homology. Okay. So mm -hmm. that can, can can work. So that means once your multiplication, you get half algebra. And then the point that like if you do a diagram, it is not clear, or it's it's somehow somehow well, it's not clear like this uh, uh, past homology or the homology of a diagram will be the homology yes, of in space. Yes. It's 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 quite unclear. So this is a little bit of mystery there. As they say that these objects are not space. They are not close. Yes, 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 yeah, understood. Yeah. So and, so then what's the half which will produce here? That will be a nice question. Yes, but uh, certainly what he asked and so and the last question. Mm -hmm. Did you know there is such theory of Maxim Kansevich graph homology? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, uh, well, well, I heard a little bit. I heard a little bit. No, so, no. yeah. You show to us what some area, mm. new ideas, new approaches, and related with, with networks, but maybe what such approaches which arise from different point of view, yeah. maybe will be useful to consider together. Okay. Oh yeah, you mean so the craft study that yes. way? Yes. That's exactly. I said there uh, could be a different construction. Uh, the 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 you know the uh, uh, latterly like like uh, the use uh, you know you, you that's exactly you know you use craft right? You can produce all what in practice you need mathematical what they call features. You can try to understand the structure there. So you have a uh, many way to produce. Right, it's, uh, the, uh, certainly the conservative approach is one another way. So, so now uh, the good thing, as I said, they say nowadays, particularly nowadays, uh, demand from science. Mm -hmm. We should produce a lot of uh, mathematical tools mm -hmm. how to study the higher structures from graphs. Right, exactly, exactly, all, all these exactly, approaches exactly, actually exactly, is exactly. in the higher structure. Yes, exactly. Exactly. So what? So for me, there are some very interesting interactions. Okay? Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Let's thank the sir. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now we have a coffee break, and next talk is in. Hmm? 